Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. In this short clip, we will talk about how long the immunity which is given by the immune system against the coronavirus, it lasts, it survives. As up till now we know that our immune system when it tries to fight off the infection or when it tries to get rid of the COVID-19, it generates two types of the immunoglobulins. One is known as the immunoglobulin M which we famously call IgM and the second one is the immunoglobulin G which we famously call IgG. Now there is a certain timeline for the production of these antibodies by our immune system. Immunoglobulin M is created within the first 10 to 12 days. It doesn't last beyond, beyond these 10 to 12 days. It is generated in 3 to 5 days. It remains there up till 8 to 12 days. Then it vanishes. And during this time, up till the 12th day, days, our immune system, it creates immunoglobulin G. Now there is a very specific thing about the immunoglobulin G. Whenever it is present in your body, it will try to uh, fight off the virus for a longer period of time. Now the current studies have shown that all those, there are two categories of the patient. One are, one category has got the patients who are, who have no symptoms at all. This is the group we call the asymptomatic patients. Then the second category comprises of those patients uh, who turn out to be COVID pos positive when their PCR test is done using the nasopharyngeal swabbing. But they have got symptoms which can be mild, which can be moderate, which can be severe, which, which is an entirely different topic and I will try to cover it in a separate video. So the, let, we have divided the patients in two categories, asymptomatic and those with the symptoms. Now, when we check the immunoglobulin level in these two categories, then there are certain facts which are uh, related with each group. Now, the group which has got asymptomatic patient, they have lesser number of the immunoglobulins. And their immunoglobulins, their antibodies does not remain in the body for longer than two months or eight weeks. So, but it doesn't mean that these patients will not be immune against the virus because even if the uh, antibodies goes down below certain level, their memory B and T cells will be able to fight off the virus because they have got the recognition issue of the virus. Let me explain it. Now, virus has got certain very important uh, parts like it has a spike protein, it has got a lipid bilayer, it has M protein or the membrane protein, it has the E protein or the envelope protein and obviously it has got the uh, RNA which is located right in the middle of the virus. Now our immune systems certain parts like the T cells and the B cells, they, they, they try to develop a memory against any part any one part of the virus and if virus comes uh, after few months and our body hasn't got any antibodies then these memory cell because the moment that that virus will enter into our body these memory cell will recognize that this is the same part of the virus which they had already made antibodies against so they'll rapidly made, make the antibodies against the dead part of the virus and they will kill the virus so, in asymptomatic patient who turn out to be antibody positive, the antibodies will not stay uh, for more than two months in uh, almost 40% of the cases. Out of every 100, 40 people will lose their antibodies after two months. While those patients who were symptomatic and when we check their antibodies, they will generate a higher quantities of the antibodies. For example, if you come across a symptomatic patient and you check their antibodies after two weeks, especially because immunoglobulin G uh, takes two weeks to develop, then there are chances that it, uh, their antibody uh, level uh, will be more than 20.9 or approx approximately higher than 21 in quantity. This is why we always call people to get the quantitative test rather than the qualitative test. But in case of the asymptomatic patient, when you check their antibody uh, quantity, it most of the time stays around like 2 to 4. So this is a very important difference. But in case of the symptomatic patient, their antibodies uh, will last longer. When the studies was uh, finalized, they had seen 
that out of every 100 those patients who belong to the symptomatic group, only around 12 to 14 persons lost their antibodies after uh, two months. But even in those patients, uh, the memory T cells and the B cells and the plasma cells were capable enough to fight off the virus one, once it tries to re-enter the body. So, uh, these are basic facts. Why you need to know these things? Because nowadays people are talking about the reinfection. Up till now, there hasn't been any reinfection cases in a larger quantities or larger number of the patients. Uh, there are millions of the people who had already suffered from the coronavirus and there are only less than uh, 10 cases who are suspected uh, reinfection cases and even in those uh, patients there may be something wrong with the testing uh, capabilities because PCR test may be falsely positive, sometimes it turns to be falsely negative. So you never know are these the true reinfection cases or there is something wrong with the way they were treated or, or managed uh, initially or now. So, uh, as a doctor, I can assert and or I can say if there ha would have been a reinfection cases, then we would have seen a large number of patients coming back from their homes uh, once they have survived the first hit. So, up till now, science tells us there are there is a least probability, least possibility of reinfection. I hope it gives some idea to you about the uh, antibodies and how long they can uh, survive or sustain in our body. Thank you so much for watching the video.